Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another video. Today is going to be kind of a different one. I want to show you guys some meals that we are making right now during this whole crazy, you know, debacle, this crisis thing that's happening right now. A little update on what's going on is me and Sammy right here. Hey guys. We packed up our whole van. In the back you can see the suitcases and stuff, but we've just packed up and we were going to go up to LA because we had a plan to see some of our friends in the UK, like Miles from Healthy Crazy Cool, and we're going to see Amanda from uh, Apples and Amandas. And all that stuff just got like like totally changed up. Miles got off the plane and then they told him that basically he either has to decide whether he's gonna stay in LA or get back on the plane immediately and go back to the UK because otherwise he's not gonna be able to go back to the UK if he stays for the week that we were gonna see him. And so we were thinking about going up there anyways and then just last minute we just decided like we should stay home stay safe uh, and I get you know just save the money and stuff so anyway <sighs> things are crazy right now um, we haven't been to a grocery store personally yet because yeah. we were already pretty stocked up yeah. but we're going to a grocery store right now so we're gonna see what it's like in here in Trader Joe's today I'm gonna show you guys some of the foods that we get show you some meals that you can make with some of the stuff that's available at the grocery store and show you some home workouts hopefully later in the video so let's go to Trader Joe's yo that is really wild of course like the vegan stuff still in stock <laughs> Not bad, huh? This is freaking crazy. I was gonna come in here and get... Oh, they have the thing I was gonna get. <laughs> nice. That's what I wanted. These are awesome because these are like little stir-fry packs. You just add a bunch of rice and beans to it and make a huge meal really fast. This is like the best thing ever. If you guys can find this at your Trader Joe's, the high-protein organic tofu is just super firm. It is amazing. And then, yeah, this is cool. Sammy just saw this. Trader Joe's has their own, like, uh, branded plant-based burgers. That's pretty cool. I'll show you some other parts of the store though. It's crazy. Yo, another aisle? Empty? Think I'm a marinara sauce. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Anyways, we got a, a little basket of stuff. Most of the stuff that we wanted was here, so that's good stuff. Let's go. We're gonna go eat some food. Look what Sammy's got on. Sex, drugs, avocado toast. That's right. Shout out to Healthy Crazy Cool. And <laughs> check this out, guys. I'm really stoked about this. I just got some new joggers because oh, I just yeah. got signed up with a new company called Jed North. So I'm now sponsored by them. They have like the sickest joggers. You guys always ask me where I get my joggers. These are my favorite ones from them, but they also have a bunch of other ones. They have stringers and stuff, all the stuff that I usually wear. And I'm pumped because I've been looking for one that has like high quality stuff that's really cheap in the first place, but still really high quality. So everything they have is super cheap. The code that I have for you guys to use, I'll put it on screen, gets you 20% off. So it's already cheap and then you get 20% off. And then also, it helps support me. It makes me look good for the team because I just signed up, so I'm trying to make myself look good to them. So yeah, check it out if you guys are interested in high quality gym apparel. Also, I've got my Ani shoes on, which if you guys are looking for some nice vegan leather shoes, bang, that's the ones right there. So you're probably wondering what's going on with my head. I ran into a trash can today. Let's uh, move on from that subject. I'm clumsy, okay? We're about to make some food right now and we've been going outside and going on walks. Other than that, we've been just inside of the house all day. It's only been a couple of days, like five, six, seven days, something like that, and I'm completely bored out of my mind. And I know it's gonna be a lot longer. Do you guys think that going on public walks is a bad thing? Because I feel like we're like in open air and stuff. We're not around other people. I feel like there's not a huge chance of getting infection, but I wanna hear what you guys think about it. But now I'm super hungry. So let's go inside and get something to eat. All right, I wanna show you guys some meals that I feel like are ingredients you can be able to find at the store right now and also stuff that's non-perishables. So right now I'm not having any trouble finding really any vegan food. So like tofu, there's tons of it. And really any of the vegan stuff, I just feel like people aren't taking it off the shelves. So this is a really cool hack. If you put your tofu in the freezer and then once it completely freezes, go put it back in the fridge so that it'll thaw out. It'll take a lot of the water out, but it also make a lot of these textures on the tofu and let it get a lot crispier. So we're just taking tofu and we're gonna cut it into cubes like so. I've got a half block here. And so I'm just gonna throw this in a frying pan and let it crisp up. Once it crisps up and gets nice and golden, then I'm also gonna add these pinto beans, kind of use that as my protein for this meal. Uh, and then we're gonna candy it up. In the other frying pan, I'm gonna put some minced onions in there. I've also got some red cabbage. And again, like I'm saying, you would think that a lot of this stuff's kind of hard to find at the grocery store, but every single time I go to the store right now, I feel like all of the veggies are still in stock, which is weird. Right? You think people would be getting that if they're worried about their immune systems? Uh, but it's good for me because I definitely want to get my veggies in. So I've got these two things and then I'm also going to use some frozen mixed vegetables because that's something that we can stock up on, no big deal. 
and then also some frozen broccoli. And actually frozen vegetables are totally fine, if not even better than fresh vegetables sometimes because the nutrients are locked in there when they're frozen. And a little bit of some garlic, okay. So I'll show you what this looks like in a few minutes after it starts cooking. Mmm, look at all that color. Looks so good. So there's the veggies. And then over here, check out how this tofu has ended up. I'm telling you, when you freeze it and then unfreeze it, it creates more air holes and it gets much crunchier. So it's nice and golden brown. We've added the beans now. And the last step is to add some sauce. So I have some orange sauce from Pet Express right here. It is like the best sauce ever for tofu. So we're just gonna add this in. We're just gonna flip it all around so that everything gets coated and then just cook it for about a minute or two so that all of the sauce sugar starts to caramelize and get kind of sticky and crunchy. And then it literally makes like the perfect best tofu ever. Here is what we have. I think one thing that's really important to think about while we're like self quarantining and staying in our houses a lot more is that it can be really easy to kind of fall into bad eating habits and eating like frozen foods and bad foods and also like getting a lot of order in or takeout and like it quickly because you're in your comfort zone and you're watching a lot of Netflix and stuff, it can be easy to be like, all right, I haven't eaten vegetables in a long time. I haven't eaten healthy food in a long time. So yeah, I wanna show you guys this real quick because that candied tofu is like bomb. Every time I put it on my story, people are always like, what is that? And it's super, super simple. If you follow the tips that I showed you, it's like, it's mind-blowingly good. Um, but yeah, so here's my little meal here. I want you guys to try this because it is amazing. Also got a little corn over here. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Here. Mmm. So good? good. It's always so good. You Isn't guys good have to try this. When you freeze it first? Mm -hmm. and that's a little crunchy little mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's my favorite way to eat tofu is frozen first and then like that. So good. Girl, I'll eat your tofu. Ooh. So this meal, I'm gonna show you real quickly because it's pretty obvious, but it is just pasta. I feel like this is a good one because it's something you can stock up on really easily, get a bunch of pasta. Um, I have lentil pasta in here and regular whole wheat pasta. Just a big giant bowl of it. And then I also put some Beyond Meat in there just for a little bit of extra protein, just a little extra flavor. And I also think this is pretty good because like you can buy a bunch of frozen food and it'll stay for a really long time. So we definitely have a ton of pasta, a ton of marinara sauce, and a ton of Beyond Meat in our cupboards and freezers. So as you guys know, we should be social distancing, like not being around people and stuff. We're also suggested not to touch our faces as much, but here's a tip that a lot of people aren't thinking about is how much you touch your phone and how much you put your phone down on surfaces like at the store or for me at the gym. Well, before this, you know, before the gym's all closed down. And so it's very smart to wipe your phone down with a disinfectant wipe every once in a while because there is so much stuff on your phone and then you put that up to your face or you touch it once you've disinfected your hands and then your hands are infected again. Also, I want to show you guys before I scroll away, we're going to be making some pancakes, which by the way, if you don't follow my Instagram yet, you should because I post a lot of these awesome infographics on the side over here. But we're going to be basically taking this recipe right here, these five ingredients, half cup soy milk, one cup oat flour, one scoop of Viva Life protein, one ripe banana, one teaspoon of baking powder. But we're also going to be adding some cashews in there and a date for sweetness just to add a little bit more to it. And now with that first ingredient, one cup of oat flour, like where have you ever seen oat flour before? Well, it's actually, I don't think it's you can buy at the store. Basically, you just put a cup of oats into a food processor or a blender, and then you blend it up, and it'll turn into a powder like this. See, there we go. So we have a very fine powder here, and then we're just gonna add all our other ingredients. A teaspoon of baking powder right there. Got a date in there. Just gonna do a handful of salted cashews. Gonna add a little bit of salt in there, and then also a bit of creaminess and fat. So like this much, but you can probably do more if you wanted to, if you want a little bit more creaminess. Actually, I'm gonna do just a little bit more. Boop. And then we got a scoop of the Vivo Life protein, the best protein on earth, highest quality, raw, all amazing for your digestion. Uh, this is the chocolate flavor though, because I want some chocolate chocolate pancakes today, so we're doing that. We have one banana worth of frozen bananas back there because I don't have any actual bananas. They're all cut up and frozen because I cut them up for my smoothies, so we got a, a banana there. And then we have half a cup of ripple milk, which is like a pea protein based milk. There we go, and then we're just going to blend it up and we'll be ready to make some pancakes for this morning. All right, and then we are ready to pour our pancakes into our frying pan. I'm just gonna do little medium-sized ones like that. Flip them every about 
two minutes on medium heat. And seriously, I know you maybe have seen these kind of recipes before, but you are going to be mind blown with how good these pancakes are. I'll show you the results in a second. Check it out. There is what we come out with. Nice browning on the outsides. Ooh, and you got yourself a big stack of healthy protein packed pancakes and they taste so good have a slight bit of a like a banana flavor to them but if you like bananas amazing and of course the last step you gotta give them a little bit of that love liquid golden beautiful syrup mm. all right now these are ready to be eaten is your mouth watering all right let's do some home workouts all right so we are outside first off it feels good to get some fresh air but inside way too much but i want to show you guys some home workout stuff and you've probably seen like i don't know uh 9,000 different home workouts at this point because i personally my subscription feed is like home workout home workout home workout so you probably um already have quite a few really good ones but i've been doing a couple of different things while i'm here a lot of core workouts and stuff it is a little bit hard for me because i don't have that many weights i have like up to like 15 pound weights and i know some people have like a whole home gym my friend has like a squat rack and all that stuff and i'm like jealous brother i already did my home workout and now everything is like packed into the into the garage and stuff so i just want to show you guys some stuff and the only place to do it is in the back of this truck so just bear with me this is kind of weird okay the first one super obvious you can do push-ups so you could just do these standard. Another version to do is like some diamond push-ups where you go really close. This will be good for your triceps. Wow, and you have to deal with the suspension too? Well, the core <laughs> workout in that. Or you can do really wide grip push-ups. And obviously the thing you want to think about is making sure your core is engaged while you're doing it. Think about pushing your elbows in as you push up to get your chest engaged. And what I would suggest is if you can do it, then do 100 push-ups, however many sets it takes. That will actually be a really solid workout. Because I feel like a lot of people when you're at home, it's hard to push yourself. But having to do 100 push-ups could take you 10 sets or 5 sets or could take you 20 sets. By the end of it, you're going to be like, whoo. <laughs> Some core stuff. Let's do some core stuff. A couple different core things. First off, you do kind of this kind of a sit thing. Your legs are up, your abs are up, you're sucking your belly button, and you can do a few things. So one, you can do this, touch each side on the ground, and you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you're not being lazy with your legs, you're not all over the place, you're keeping your abs tight, giving your glutes a little flex, keeping all this kind of tight, and that way you're using your obliques and your abs. Another thing you can do is you can go from straight into that kind of do like a little bit of a tuck that's a good one and that's pretty tough um, another thing you can do that I really like is you can lay back show your butt to your YouTube followers <laughs> legs straight up put your arms down and you just raise your hips off the ground just a little bit another thing you can do is if you have a surface like a table or a chair or if you're doing it in the back of a truck like a weirdo you can do incline push-ups. This is like if normal push-ups are too hard or you can superset normal push-ups with this because these are a little bit easier. And as you come up, squeeze that chest really tight. Keep your shoulders back when you come to the bottom of it. Just like this. If you have the range of motion for it, you can do triceps like this. It's kind of wonky, but basically you just dip your head under whatever it is. You straighten it out, kind of like a weird little pike press. None of this stuff is optimal, but it is something. And I think a lot of people don't realize how long we're gonna not be at gyms. And so a lot of people are like, oh, it's a good rest week. That's what I originally thought. And then I realized like, it's not gonna be a rest week. It's gonna be like a rest month. And so if you just don't do anything, you're gonna regret it. Cause you're gonna lose muscle. You're not gonna feel good. Your range of motion is gonna go down the drain. Your strength is gonna go down the drain. You're probably gonna be eating junkier food. And so you're probably gonna add a little bit of fat. So yeah, stay on top of your exercise routine. I wanna show you guys a few things that you can do. That was just some body weight stuff that you can do. Um, I do have some weights and maybe I'll put that in the next vlog. If you guys wanna see some stuff like that, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Also let other people know some exercises at home that you like to do in the comments so that that can help them out. But yeah, let's show you one more meal for this video because I want to give you a couple different meal choices. All right, so we are making some dinner and we got a bunch of stuff cooking. This is basically the burritos that I did in the last full day eating. So if you want to see how we're making this mixture, which is so good, it's TVP, much other stuff, uh, check out my last full day eating. It is fire. And what I want to show you guys, I figure a lot of us are stocking up on beans or already have a lot of beans. Hummus is maybe something that is going to be a little harder to find or maybe not because maybe people aren't stocking up on it. But in this recipe, you could also use like peanut butter or any nut butter like tahini or something like that um, and then bread is also pretty hard to find at the stores right now but 
you definitely need to use up the bread that you do have or if you don't have bread then you could use something like like chips so like we found a bunch of these baked tostadas that we love they have like almost no fat in them so you use that or potatoes or really anything this will go well with so don't worry but basically you're just taking a couple of dollops of hummus mixing it in with your beans and then also mixing in some balsamic vinegar how much you use is totally up to you because some people like it more or less we're just gonna mix this up real quick all right then you get something kind of like this and this does not actually look super appetizing when it's like this but i swear it is so good and you can just use this to top any sort of carb source that you have maybe even rice would be really good with this or you can mix it into anything i mean honestly whatever it's just an amazing taste so just do whatever you will with it but yeah you can make some good little pieces of toast with this and that's pretty much it great way to get some extra protein in because you're getting all those beans in there if you did this with like some tahini or something like that you'd also get a little bit more protein and some good fats in there but super simple little recipe just wanted to show you one more unique thing that you can use you know some of the ingredients that are in your pantry right now to uh, get rid of them you know it's self quarantining time when animal crossing comes out and you download it the first day check it out guys here i am <laughs> also in case you guys are playing this is anybody playing this actually some of you guys probably think i'm crazy because some of you guys probably have no idea what the hell this game is but i used to play this when i was a little kid and they just came out with a new version so i was pretty stoked about it i drew eyebrows on my guy because the game doesn't put eyebrows on the characters so i took the liberty of drawing them on what do you guys think pretty accurate looks like me right <laughs> Huh? Yeah, he's got the long hair like your boy. And eyebrows. Nice. All right, guys, I'm about to sit down and eat my dinner. And I just wanted to bring you guys along with us on what our life has been like in the last couple of days. This whole thing is just like so irregular. Like nobody is prepared for this kind of thing. We are all going through the same exact thing, which is such an interesting time in life where like as, as terrible as it is, I think it's helping a lot of us come together and, you know, check in on your friends and your family more, you know, call people and text people and be like, hey, are you doing okay? Is there anything that I can do? You know, of course, like social distancing wise, there's anything I can do are you feeling okay and I'm really enjoying the fact that people are being warmer and like opening up to you know caring for people a little bit more because I feel like our pace of life has slowed down a little bit more and it's helped us to like look around and just you know check on everyone's well-being so that is one of the good things that's come out of this a few things that I've been doing is in the morning I've been taking an emergency which is like just like a vitamin thing it just has like a bunch of different vitamin complexes in it and B vitamins and a bunch of like herbs and minerals and stuff I guess just try to like boost my my immune system and then I've also been taking the multi greens the thrive from vivo life just so that I get all the vitamins and minerals in in a day because sometimes I'm not eating like a perfect diet sometimes I'm eating you know like a lot more pasta right now um, but I just want to make sure that I have all the vitamins and minerals that I need so that my immune systems feeling strong from what I've been reading is that the virus gets broken down by soap so I've been washing my hands like incessantly all the time with soap and then also doing hand sanitizer and one of the tips that I wanted to give you guys is like it's hard to be stuck inside and it's starting to drive me mad and it's only been a couple of days and I'm sure you guys are feeling the same way. Um, but take this time to do something different that you've been wanting to do that you haven't had the time to do. And so instead of just watching like Netflix or like The Mandalorian on, on Disney Plus or something like that uh, and spending all your time watching things, think like, you know, maybe you've wanted to learn a language like Spanish or something for a long time, or maybe you've wanted to learn an instrument, or you've been wanting to build that website that you've been needing for your business or whatever it is. Take the time to do something that, you know, you don't usually have the time to do, but it's gonna make you feel good and productive and progressive. Um, so like for me, I'm using like, I think it's Duolingo. There's like an app on my phone and I'm gonna start learning Spanish here because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have uh, quite a bit more time to go here. So me and Sam are gonna start learning Spanish, but yeah, make use of the time. It's gonna make Make you feel good more so than just you know sitting around and like finishing like four different series of shows and stuff because that's fun but after a while you get burnt out on that right and you're just like I don't want to watch anything anymore so it's good to have something that makes you feel good and progressive and productive so I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us I feel like putting out content right now I know a lot of people are like it's kind of weird to be putting out content during this big you know emergency and stuff but I feel like a lot of us need just stuff to escape from all this craziness, right? Like something to take your mind off of it, something regular that you've been used to. Um, so that's why I'm gonna try to continue making as much content as possible. Because again, I feel like it's such a good uh, method of like escapism. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. I wanna send out all the love to you guys and just say I'm thinking about all you guys. I hope you guys are doing okay. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy! Or die, Myron, motherfucker. Give me on the week. CT, lift heavy. Or die, Myron.